This right here is a recap of the new series, Hood Cry. In the first scene, we see Maisky talking to his younger Wes about some work and shit. And Wes gets to complain about how it's not enough and he running out and shit. So since Wes is running low, Maisky had told Wes to hit up JB. And Wes ain't like the fact that he had to hit up JB. So Maisky and Wes had gone to a little argument. But other than that, Maisky was just taking on Wes, making sure he was making that money and shit. But after all that, Maisky was on his way out. About to go handle some other shit. In this scene, we see Minsky at a red light, just waiting for it to turn green. Then an unknown mad shooter pulls up and let off damn near 100 bullets in the car. I wonder what was the motive behind the shooting. If y'all feel like y'all know, let me know down below in the comments. Fast forward to the next morning, we meet Mansky's family, his little brother Man Man, Pops, which is an officer, and his older brother, Melly, or as they call him in the streets, Melly Mel's. Later that night, we meet two new characters, Shawnee and JB, the local drug dealers in the hood. And while sitting at the park, they was waiting for that nigga Melly to pull up. got to the park, JB had gave Mel's the opportunity to make some money to get his situation straight, you know, after Maisky had died. JB had an onion for Mel's, bagged up and ready to go, and the profit he was going to make off of it was damn near 350 And on top of that, JB was looking out for him and told him he could keep all the profit. In the next couple scenes, you see Wes calling JB's phone out of nowhere. At first, JB was confused while Wes had called his phone. But Wes let him know that he was calling for business, for business only. So basically, the conversation went a little something like this. Wes had said that Maisky had told him to call JB because he had some form. And basically, JB responded and said he ain't had nothing for Wes. So a couple more seconds into the conversation, Wes was saying that niggas owe him bread and shit. And the conversation quickly went out of the business route and ended up in threats. And Wes had told him if he ain't have his money, something was going to happen to JB. JB wasn't trying to hear none of that shit, cause he barely even know this nigga, or what he even about. After Mel's had got that pack from JB, he went crazy, and made exactly three bands off of that shit. After making quick three bands like that, Melly already had his mind made up on what he wanted to do. In the next scene, we see Shawnee and JB go to a local parking lot to go steal a Honda. At first, it was take down nigga JB hella long to get in the car. And you know Shawnee, he was getting nervous and anxious and shit. Like he always do. But after a while of fucking trying, this nigga JB finally got in the car. And now, the niggas is both mobile. <laughs> no more bikes. Now we fast forward to the scene with Mel's and the weed man Dougie. And they start catching up with each other, cause they ain't seen each other in a while, you know. And within a few minutes of them talking, Macy was brought up in a conversation. And out of nowhere, Dougie said he might have known who killed Mel's brother. 